so so far in our classes we learned about how to define a class okay three sessions completed on the classes topic okay now in the last session we see we seen how to create custom data types in a class like structure internal table if you want uh, such kind of you know operations in a custom table how to define them and how to use uh, them to return the output okay we see in those scenarios in our last session okay now in today's session what we are going to learn is constructor what it is constructor okay so this topic we are going to learn this is one of the important topic okay this is just not a topic one of the important topic in the classes okay so this classes is nothing but we can call as oops concepts also okay so in this one constructor is one of the very important topic so let's see uh, how what is this constructor and how i can you know how to use it in our uh, examples okay working with it okay so in our yeah in the in our last session we created a class okay we created one class so what is this class is doing the functionality of this class is it is having around five methods okay this method we created initially we are we created one set method to update the date of the class to update the one of the attribute of the class we created one set method to update one uh, date field of a class uh, okay attribute we call then we return four get methods to get the corresponding information get year is a method which brings the year information from the given date get method is a method which retrieves the month information from the given date same with day also and the get info is a method which retrieves all the three information year month date and you know give output in one single method okay so we define like this now i am going to update this class with the new functionality called constructor so what is the benefit of constructor uh, we will see with uh, multiple examples today okay na? because constructor at least uh, one or two examples we need to perform then only we can understand what exactly it is and the examples which we discussed in our previous sessions same examples i will use now and you know um, tell you how how we can constructor in those examples so now for example in this set date method what was the functionality we written in the set date method i written a functionality so this set method is having one input parameter okay this is one input parameter so this is of type initial uh, optional it means when i am calling this set date method if i pass input value then it will be stored in my class attribute if i if i am not storing any input value then it will take system date as a uh, system date will be stored in the attribute so let's uh, uh, see it practically so this is the set date method okay i am trying to execute the set date method so if i am not passing anything to this uh, set date method okay you see currently the class attribute 80 date doesn't have any value okay now i am calling set date method by clicking on execution button so here in this set date method we have one input parameter i can pass some value here if i am not passing any value into it and simply execute this method then you see the 80 attribute 80 data attribute is filling with the today's date 25th okay for example the same set date method if i am calling by passing 0 to slash 0 to slash 2022 okay by passing some value into it if i execute this set date method then my ad attribute is updated with the whatever value i am passing whatever date i am passing okay that is the functionality we have written for the set date in the last session now so let's uh, change this one to something different uh, instead of um, 0 to is month 20 is the date mm, let's say 15 is the date 2022 is the year okay let's uh, set the attribute with this value now if i click on get month then from here it will bring the month information you see 02 it came okay 
if i am clicking on year from this date it is fetching the year information so all the logic we clearly uh, you know uh, written in our last session i explained everything so you can go back and see in the session and the get date this will give my date information which is 15th from my date okay and the last method get info which is having uh, which will give all the three informations day month and year in uh, one single method itself okay so you return it now what is happening here is every time i need to call set date method to update the attribute you know to update the date field okay so instead of doing like this we can update it in a different way okay um it, what i mean to say is when when we are executing the class like when we are uh, this is nothing but we created one object okay now when we creating an object after creating an object we need to call set date method to update the date attribute after creating also uh, let's uh, you know not like this what we can do is to uh, learn it better let's create a program on, on top of it then it will be more easy for understanding so i am going to create a program program for learning constructor okay so now what i am going to do so first of all i have to create an object right so obj1 of type reference to sorry type reference to my class name what is my class name my class name is gcl example 4 this is not the object creation but the defining the uh, assigning the class to the object like uh, uh, um, defining the mapping you can say here when i click when i create create when i write this create object obj1 now the class is object is creating actually this is the place where exact object was created in the system okay so for any errors no errors so we are done from till now one second let me increase it to okay na? so created object okay, na? so after object creation so i need to first of all what i need to do i need to call the set method to update the attributes value so how to call the set method to call the set method we can you know instead of writing code manually we can go to pattern go to abap object parameters give the instance name obj1 which is object name and class name and on the methods if we press f4 button like the last one it will give all the methods information that are available in this class we have around five methods so it will give all the five methods information here when i press f4 you see all the five methods information came here now in these methods i now i want to call set date method so double click on it click on ok you see set date uh, this method got called and see the importing parameters which are importing parameters for this method are commented by default why these are commented because these are not mandatory if these are mandatory then definitely it these to be or will be enabled by default but so far it is commented because of this p underscore date is an optional field okay so now what i am going to do is i am going to enable it because i want to pass one date field here so i am passing 2022 because i need to provide date in a yyyy mmtd format i am passing 15th february 2022 okay so for any errors in the program no errors okay so by calling this method what happened i am updating the attribute value now if i want to get the month information from this one then i need to call again month method get month method so go here select the method as get month so get month got called so enable these two so this get method 
will provide me the month information from this data. So I need to capture this month information in one local variable. Okay. So either I need I can create a new variable here by going to the top or by using inline declaration also we can create one variable here itself by using this inline declaration um, syntax data it means uh, one kind of variable lv month will be created here itself i no need to go to here and uh, update uh, you know create a variable here and then use it that is old way of uh, creating it in the new way I, I can use this inline declarations also okay try to learn inline declaration in the last three sessions we are using that one from now on we are using this one so that we will cover both now simply i am going to write lv month on the screen activate the program execute you see month 0 to was displayed on my screen so this is the how we uh, you know call this method now let's uh, take one more example so i am commenting this one in so this is a scenario one in the scenario one we passing date to the uh, data via set method in scenario one in scenario two in scenario two what we are going to do is in scenario two we call method we call set method but don't pass any value to importing parameter okay and i can make it big also not a big deal hmm. so don't pass any parameter to uh, importing parameter so what it means i am going to call my method set method set date set date okay but uh, what i am going to do here i am not passing anything still it is correct because p underscore date is optional input parameter if i keep it if i leave it like this also no problem now if i call my method get method method now what will happen if i am not passing any input parameter to my uh, not updating any date field to my class and call set date method by default it will take the current date okay i'm activating this class this is a bit confusing uh, yeah. you see it uh, march month came here because now 80 underscore uh, this attribute in the class is updated with the current data because i am not passing anything here so every time what is happening here every time i am calling this set date method to update the attribute so after creating an object i am calling the set date method first to assign the value to my date and then i am calling my get methods okay na? so this is a little bit you know uh, not comfortable okay i can say simply so i am going to change this way of behavior what i am going to do is here in the class in the classes we have one method called constructor okay it is very important constructor spelling also important okay if you write the spelling correctly only then system will consider as a constructor if you write something wrong it is just like a uh, normal method okay constructor is a method if you see, see automatically it came as instance method and private so let's change it to public okay na? activate so just have created the method but not yet defined any parameters so for this constructor method also we can define parameters same like uh, all other methods constructor is also one kind of method side data okay and i'm making it as optional so i am defining this constructor method in the same way how i defined set date method in the set date method i defined a parameter with optional and side item 
correct in the same way in constructor also i am creating a parameter and one more thing constructor only having import parameters constructor never return any any output okay like other methods constructor never return any uh, you know output parameters it only accepts importing parameters that's why if you see the set date method you have an option to mention whether it is an importing parameter or an exporting parameter but in constructor you don't have that option at all simply it is asking the parameter name and the type okay why because constructor always accepts the value but it never returns something to you okay so now i am going to the definition of my constructor so before going to it what i am going i am copying my code from set date method and writing same kind of code in constructor so what is the code here i am checking my importing parameter p date if it is initial or if it contains zeros then i am updating current date to my uh, class attribute else i am updating whatever i am passing to my importing parameter okay i am activating this so constructor was defined now let's see how this is working how constructor is different compared to the other methods okay so you, you need to understand and then i need to go to ppt to explain the working of the constructor so i am using ppt let's say this is a class okay how to rep how to represent this uh, it's a class in the class you have one constructor and let's say some methods okay so let's say this is constructor let's say this is method one method two method okay so this is the definition of the constructor now let's uh, see if you are creating an object if you are creating an object on top of this class what will happen this object also contains all the method all the definition class is a definition okay now it's a def it's a definition it's not a, any you know working one um, so when i create an object the definition will be having here also so here also when i am creating an object this object uh, okay class is in a template template okay now this is called as template so here we need to create one object on top of the class to call the respective methods or update the attribute values okay so we are creating object one here so what will happen this object one now will contains constructor method one method two method three okay um so let's see for example this method one let's call as addition okay and method two let's call it as a subtraction and and one more point here i need to is uh, one second, one second. Method one, like uh, instead of addition, let's make it as a set method. Set values. And method two is nothing but addition. So taking an example will give more clarity on what we are discussing. So that's why I'm taking little time, you know, to understand, to explain this. Add 
addition. So I have two methods in my class. One method is to set the values of my class like A and B, okay, attributes. And I have another method called addition. This addition will provide me the result of A and B, okay. So whenever I create object one, then what I need to do? First of all, my object in when I am creating object, I need to call set method. Okay, I need to call set method initially to assign the values to my variables. It means, for example, if I say A and B, um, if I say A is equal to 10 here. and b is equal to 20 okay so if i am defining my object what i need to call, do first of all i need to call my set method to update okay now to update my uh, variables then after updating my variables i need to call my second method to get the sum of this uh, values or add method Let's keep it like this so now what will happen uh, yeah every time i need to call my set method initially and then i need to call my add method so after object creation this is a recurring for example if i want to update the uh, values of my uh, attributes again i need to call my set method so that whatever values i am passing to these importing parameters those values will be updated to my attributes again i need to call add method so this is the one so now what will happen is now we have one concept called constructor so when the methods will be called when i am calling them manually so in our program also what manually means, uh, what it sends is, uh, you see, I'm calling ex explicitly call method. I'm telling to the system, call the method or uh, set date here, call the method get month. So I am telling every time to call the each method, but constructor is not uh, that kind. Constructor will be called whenever automatically constructor will be called by default when you when you at the time of creation of object okay this is the definition of constructor what is constructor constructor will be called by default at the time of creation of object you no need to call this constructor ex explicitly okay it will be called automatically when you are creating the object okay so this will, so what will happen is this method this constructor is having similar properties like like other methods like it is having importing parameters but constructor won't have any output parameters okay so why we use constructor what is the benefit of this constructor is here you see in this example object in this example i am to update my attribute values i am calling the set method ex explicitly to update the a and b values and then i am calling add method but with the benefit of constructor, what we can do is, okay, with the benefit of constructor, what will happen is, we can, whatever code we written in the set method to update these attributes, same code I can write in the constructor, okay. Then what will happen at the time of creation of an object itself, if I pass these values, then these attributes will be defined then directly i can call add method so after creating my object i can directly call the add method because at the time of creation of objects it's itself i am updating my attribute values okay so that's what i'm going to explain here now in this example for what happened i am calling set date method to update the date attribute and then i am calling each and every method uh, separately to get the required information but now instead, uh, instead of calling set date, I am using constructor to to update the attribute value. Okay. Now let's see what how I am doing. Um, in our program, I am deleting everything. So when 
when you have a constructor, then what you need to do is don't write the statement create object manually. For this also, try to make use of pattern. Okay, because it will give you proper one. So go to ABAP object parameters. So far, we are using this ABAP object parameters only to call the method. But we have one more option to create object also. Okay, so select this create option and give the object name as obj1 and the class name. So what was my class name? This is my class name. Give it create object. One second. Why it is not coming? Did I not activate this? Parameters. Let's remove this one. I'm I'm not making it as an optional for some time. Um, now go here and try to create object one more time. Pattern create a uh, web object parameters create object obj1 and a class. Oops, it is not giving the sorry. Just a second. Okay, so we have some buffer issue. I restarted this session one more time. Okay, so now I'm going to pattern. I'm going to ABAP object parameters. I'm selecting create object and then class name. Now click on OK. Now you see when you click on OK, automatically it is giving the exporting parameter pdate because because I in my class I created constructor in the constructor I given a parameter also which is nothing but importing parameter. Okay, so that's why when you when you use this pattern option to create an object it will help you if it having any importing parameters it will give you this hint like this now here i am passing my date value 2022 0 to 15 okay now you see so far when we creating an object it is just creating an object but from now on what is happening because this particular class is having a constructor now when creating the object itself uh, we are using this uh, para importing parameters to set the attribute value. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to call the method call here method. Okay, now I am so going here. I am giving my object name. I am giving my class name. I am giving the uh, so I am calling the method. For example, get year. So now let's uncomment this one. Now capture this year in one local variable lv underscore year now write this lv year on the screen right lv underscore year that's it pretty printer check activate execute you see i got the year now what is the difference between previous example to current example in the previous example i created object in one line and then I call the set method, set date method to update my attribute value. And then I called my get get year method. But now what I did, instead of calling the set date directly at the time of creation of object itself, I am assigning my attribute. For example, now I want to update a different date value. Now what I will use of set method. If I want to update my date field, date field to different date. Now what I will do? Now I will use the set date method. Okay. I will call the set date method now. I am updating a different value 2021 Okay. And then I try to call again this get year method. Now what will happen when this year get year method called by this time my variable uh, my attribute is updating with a different date so i will get 2021 so one second here give slash um here i need to remove this one why i am removing already in this line in this line i am already defined this variable this inline declaration is nothing but defining a variable at this line Again, if I am using data here, then I am trying to create duplicate variable. That's the error here. That's why I need to remove that and one activate. You see 2021, 2022 initially came after that I assigned updated to 2021. It came here. 
So let's do debugging once and then understand in more detail way. Okay, I'm keeping the external breakpoint on the create object step. So I'm clicking on execute. So you see this particular statement obj1 here what will happen obj1 is initial by at this time. Okay, whenever you you call it create object then what will happen it will try to create this obj1 at that time system will go to this line and try to understand from where it has to create the object by using which template which class. Okay, na? so now you see if I press F4 now what will happen the constructor will be called you see I am call I am pressing F5. See my particular my cursor went into constructor. As I said, constructor will be called at the time of creation of object. Okay, so it went here, and then already I have 80 underscore date attribute in this class. So I am checking p date. In p date, I am passing 15th of February. So what would happen? Since it is not initial, it comes to else part and updating my attribute value with the value I passed. Okay, it updated. So you see end method press F4 again press F5 that's it so creation of object completed okay so this constructor will be called at the time of creation of object very important point now what I am doing I am calling get year method so when I press F4 what will happen my cursor will go to the get year method and what I have here I written a statement to extract the first four characters from the date so it will extract it and store in on the output uh, output parameter of my method p underscore year 2022 f5 my cursor is coming back again to here and then write lv year so i am writing this on the console output again what is happening again i am calling the set date method set date method is just like normal method where it will execute the code like if i am not passing anything it will give the current date if i am passing something it will come to else part and it will update my attribute value see mm, oh sorry that's it okay now lv year now update with 2021 now i am writing same on the output screen so this is the uh, concept of constructor so as i said earlier i am not telling only one example to understand it better i am going to tell now one more example on this class on this constructor okay let's create uh, another uh, class okay to understand better, let's create another class. Okay, class by create, save, um, addition with the constructor. Example for constructor is better. So first of all, what I am going to do, I am going to write constructor first. Okay. In the constructor, I am going to accept two parameters. One is P underscore A of type integer. And another one is P underscore B of type uh, attributes, right? So sorry, attributes generally we define 80 underscore A. Okay. Um, yeah, in earlier sessions also, we are using the same naming convention, 80 underscore B of type i just to make sure these are attributes i am giving at um, you know prefix to my variable name i define two importing parameters to my constructor and i am going back one step now i am going to define the constructor so in the constructor what i am go sorry 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 i am very sorry yeah uh, i am deleting this one sorry uh, i did something wrong First of all, first what we need to do, I need to define attributes here. Okay. Uh, here I need to give 80 underscore A. Okay. Visibility public associated type I. Okay. So I'm I'm creating one attribute of type public type, you know, sorry, of visibility public type integer. Okay. Under the attribute section. In the same way, I'm using uh, creating one more attribute visibility public of type I. Okay. Now I'm going to methods. In the methods, I'm creating constructor. So constructor, I'm changing the visibility to public. Okay. And now come to the parameter section. 
yeah here i am defining parameters only right so my naming convention is correct p underscore a i here and one more variable p underscore b of type i okay now now i am going one step back now in the definition of the constructor i am as a whatever i am giving input to this constructor i am updating those to my attributes so at underscore a is equal to p underscore a at underscore b is equal to p underscore b okay click on check button activate that's it okay constructor is completed so what will happen this constructor will accept okay this constructor will accept two input parameter variables and those two input parameter variables are assigned to my two attributes okay now what i am going to do is i am going to get uh, like um, perform uh, instead of get method i am uh, you know do i'm writing perform here perform underscore addition okay this is also public method so what will happen in this perform method will perform addition and returns one output parameter p underscore output type uh, no need uh, exporting this is of type exporting because addition after performing addition it has to return the output okay it is of type integer so go to methods now write the operation here um, you know logic for this what it has to do under p underscore output export parameter it has to perform at underscore a plus at underscore b so addition did and uh, we performed addition on using the attributes and whatever result is there i am giving it to my exporting parameter variable pt printer check activate go back one step now activate the class also once that's it okay now now what we am going to do so just to, to make practice now i am trying to execute class here also so whenever i click on execute button you see instance is not yet created remember it is calling constructor when i am clicking on execute method it is asking to it is already calling my constructor so here i need to pass some values okay 10 and 20. now click on create instance instance is nothing but object okay na? so now i am creating object now at the time of creation object constructor will be called and that constructor will assign my importing parameters into my attributes you see 10 and 20 already assigned to my attributes if i perform the addition operation now click on execute button here on addition it is adding those two attributes and the resulting uh, giving output on my p output okay so you must learn how to execute the class from the gui also and how to use the uh, write a program by using the class both you need to learn if you have such understanding it is better okay mm. constructor example two executable program save save so now what i am going to do first of all i need to define one object okay obj1 type reference to my class now as said now i want to create object of my class so for this go to pattern above object parameters here go to create object give the object name and give your class name click on ok you see automatically the definition came in by default so now here assign you know 10 to this one since these are integers integers can give directly no need of single quotes here okay so simple i am passing like this now what i am going to do i am going to call another method from this class called um, go here update the class name and uh, now when you click on this f4 method since we have only one method perform add that is coming by default click on ok you see it is giving one exporting parameter now here whatever i am i am receiving here whatever i am receiving here i am trying to store under one local variable called uh, our x out lv underscore addition okay i am writing this result on the output screen 
okay activate execute you see 30 was received and it was perfectly working okay so this is the how we create constructors so by using constructors for example later if you want to update the attributes of the class p underscore a then what you need to do you need to write some set methods here set uh, set attributes are set a set b you can write uh, you know set values some kind of methods you need to write to update the attributes as of now um, you know uh, only we didn't constructor by using construct only we are updating the values okay that's all so this is all about classes and how to use constructor now only one last topic pending on this classes is exceptions okay exception uh, I will uh, tell the exceptions in the next session. Okay, I'm stopping. Uh, okay, uh, okay, okay. We need one uh, assignment, right, to practice. So let's take one assignment also to practice the constructor. Okay, um, create a class with name GCL underscore. Okay, um, ex underscore example for constructor. Okay, you can define a class with this name and second, create an attribute at underscore name type string. So, as a second step, create one attribute at name of type string. Okay, all are public only here. Next, create a constructor to update um, constructor with one input parameter or input or importing parameter um, one parameter okay um p underscore name type string so you, on the third step you are creating a constructor with one input parameter p underscore name of type string i am defining i am giving each and every step clearly so just you need to you know do it on system then write logic for the constructor to update p underscore name value value to attribute at underscore name so in the constructor you need to write a uh, in the constructor you need to write a logic to update whatever you are receiving on p name that must be assigned to attribute at underscore name okay it's so simple sim, uh, one one line uh, you know code what was that code at name is equal to p underscore name you have to write then it is done then and fifth point uh, define a method with uh, define a method method name i need to give right method name m underscore upper okay m underscore upper okay with one exporting parameter okay you have to define one method m underscore upper with one exporting parameter okay na? so exporting parameter name if you can if you want to give a parameter name also uh, p underscore name type string okay now the logic logic for the method m underscore upper or else uh, write logic to convert the uh, name one second eh? uh, to make it sim uh, correct statement eh? in method in method m underscore upper write logic to convert the name into uppercase letters so what you are doing in the m underscore upper method you are writing a logic to convert whatever name uh, uh, name was available under at underscore name you are converting into uppercase and giving it as a result and write result p underscore 
right bracket make it into that's it so this is the logic what you need to write on the m underscore upper so next define a method m underscore set name okay to update um, data with one import parameter p underscore name this is definition on the eighth point in method m underscore set name write logic to update the attribute um, at underscore name with the given value so whatever you are passing to this m underscore set name method that particular value you need to update to the attribute name okay so next define a method m underscore um, m underscore substring or as m underscore first five this was the method name okay now first five car so define a method m underscore first five car with one exporting parameter now here in method m underscore first five care write logic to um so it you need to write a you know substring of uh, to get logic to get the substring of first five characters write logic to um get first five characters of a string of um, characters from at underscore name and write back it to okay result so i need to i think uh, i need to mention the parameter name also let's um, so here i forgot to mention second here i forgot to mention the parameter name and one exporting parameter p underscore five cars okay now you write that result back into the parameter p underscore five cars okay so this is the class so in the class now constructor set method get method and you know um, upper method so almost uh, you know uh, good number of uh, is there now we are going to next step create a program to call uh, to undefine an object obj1 for the class class name so you have to create one program in the program you need to define an object obj1 for the class this one okay in the constructor of the object of the class not in the further i think right for the constructor of the class pass name as okay um sap underscore tutorial okay you can pass this uh, name to your constructor okay now uh, okay sorry sorry uh, we need to write uh, everything in uh, not everything in capital letters but uh, mixing of small and capital letters okay sap underscore tutorial now what you need to write next word is call the method m underscore upper and store result 
in local variable pm and v underscore name underscore upper so 14th write the uh, variable value lv underscore name underscore upper to output screen okay in the same way now we need to you know call the method so i am giving all the details in detail okay so it, i don't want is uh, you know something like i don't didn't understand the what to do in the example that's why i am giving clear instructions on how to create this example if you do this practice then you will get better understanding and a good hands on experience okay call the method m underscore set name okay and uh, call method pass value um, so this time what we are going to pass my preparation okay set this value and send this value now call the method m underscore first five care and store the result in local variable lv underscore pycars and show and print the value on output screen so this is the detailed example what i can provide you for today and to practice the constructor example okay if you are able to complete this example then almost you, you have one good experience on hands on experience on using constructor and uh, calling set methods and get methods okay and using that uh, constructor in the program also you have well understanding if you are able to complete this program and uh, let me know if you face any difficulties in this example okay so now i am stopping my recording